Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with AC Milan and today we've got episode 12 of the career mode and in today's episode guys we've got over 200 million in the transfer budget we're going to go into the transfer market and make a couple of signings and so in the last episode then we did go ahead and sign Diego Dalot back from Manchester United of course in the first season we had him on loan and I thought you know what guys it's such a good job in that first season rotating with Calabria that I thought you know what we've got to bring him back and we did just that. And also, I did see a few comments down below in the last episode, guys, about Mike Mignon. He had the number 13, and apparently his click number is actually number 16. So, we're going to head and change that at the start of today's episode. And now, then, we did have a game in the first episode, guys. He took PSG on in the Super Cup, but unfortunately lost 2-0 in that game. And one thing I didn't think to do before that game was go ahead and sign a strike. Obviously, Leal did start in that game. Didn't manage to get anything going, though. And PSG walked away with the win. So then, guys, coming up in today's episode, we've got quite a lot going on, guys. We're all thinking about changing the formation. Also, centre-back partnership. Could we be changing that in today's episode? Also going to be starting off in the Serie A as well. The first two games of the season, we have to make sure we get it right and start off with two wins. We want to make sure we get a top four finish once again this season. And, of course, we are going to be going to the transfer market and looking at making some signings. So if you guys are looking forward to today's episode, please don't forget, drop a like down below. On the video, we can hit over 250 likes, guys. That'd be amazing. And also, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit the red subscribe button down below. But let's go ahead then and get to some of your guys' comments from the previous episode. And the first one here is saying, Did anyone notice that Daniel Maldini rating didn't even grow even though he was on loan? And yeah, Maldini did go out on loan last season. We did say how he wouldn't really get any game time, but unfortunately, I don't think his overall increased whatsoever. And maybe it did by two. Did he start as a 65 rated? I can't remember. But either way, he only went up, if he did go up, he only went up by two. And it's not really that great, guys. So we're going to have to try and work on that this season. I think this season we definitely keep him at the club and try and improve him ourselves. But into the next comment here then, which does say, why don't you put Ro Magnoli in the squad? He's higher rated. And I've only just noticed, guys, actually 85 rated. I don't know why I've only just noticed that. I thought he was still 84 rated. But yeah, I, there's been a lot of talk in the comments. Ro Magnoli into the first team, take care out or leave care and Ro Magnoli in the first team. But I do think now Ro Magnoli obviously overtaken care in overall and plus care. How old is he now? 32. So I can imagine he's going to start to decline. So let's get Ro Magnoli back into the first team and let's get him and Samari, you know, building that great partnership. But here we go then into the final comment for today's episode. It's just a change of formation to suit your wingers more like a 4-3-3 attack with CDMs or centre mids. And now, in the last episode, I was like, new season, we're going to change the formation. And I was adamant about going on with the 4 1 2 1 2. But obviously, that would leave us with no wingers. And I feel like we need wingers in the squad, guys. Obviously, I wanted to go ahead and sign David Neres. And if I want to do that, I'm not sure if Neres can play Cam. Obviously, we could, could convert him. But we've got ZH playing there at the moment. So I do want wingers in the team. So I'm going to scrap the 4 1 2 1 2 for now. Maybe introduce it later on in the season, but I do think 4-3-3 attack. We're gonna tr we're gonna change the two centre mids to CDMs, and I think we're gonna go with that this season. And so then, guys, a couple of episodes ago, I did ask you to go down below into the comment section, click the link through to the poll, and you guys to vote on which striker we should sign for season two. And now, as you guys can see on screen, it was very close, and I mean very close. You can see there 41%. To 45%, literally a two horse race there. A few votes for Bamiang and Luis Muriel, but uh, very close at the top there. 143 votes to 130. And it feels wrong to go ahead and sign one of them without the other because the vote is so close. But I've got to stick to the rules, guys. And Luka Jovic did go ahead and win the poll, like I say, by 13 votes. So it was very close. So you know what that means then, guys? We are going to go ahead and sign Luka Jovic in today's episode. Now, of course, if you guys feel like that we should go ahead and sign Daniel Marlin as well, please do let me know down below in the comments. I did suggest that in the last episode. And that's maybe where we can use the full 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Well, obviously, two strikers up top. One being Luka Jovic, one being Daniel Marlin. But obviously, Marlin did sign for Dortmund in real life. And that's why people were sort of saying, you know, avoid signing. But let's go ahead. Let's get into this first signing here. Luka Jovic, valued at 35.5 million. We could get him for around about, well, 40, maybe 45. Uh, but he has got a release clause there. And we are going to try and avoid paying that much for him. So I'm going to go in with the first off here. 39.5 million euros, guys. Let's have a see what Zidane has to say. Now, whether Zidane's using him or not. I'm not too sure. Now, whether he is, will he, you know, want to want more money for him? Or if he's just on the bench or reserves. And okay, don't 46.3. And let's see if we can just get him for a little bit less here. Again, we've got loads of money to work with here, guys. So we're not really too stressed about money. 
But again, I would like some left over for the January transfer window. But let's have a see. 42. Just try and get it for a little bit cheaper there. Let's have a see what Zidane has to say. Okay, he wants 46.3. He's not moving on that price. And I'm more than happy to pay it because, you know, Jovic is going to come in. Be our number nine. So let's go ahead and accept that offer. And wow, okay, then Jovic on a lot of money already to start with, guys. 270,000. Um, it's going to be a crucial first team player. Might have been able to get away there with important, but he's, he's not going to go. He's, got, he's not going to drop out of the team, guys. Unless he gets injured, he's not getting dropped out of this team. Now, I want him on a five year deal if possible. Okay, yeah, that's what they're looking for. Disregard all these clause. Okay, yeah, that's fine with me. And then now. On to the wage. He's on 270,000. I reckon we can get him for maybe 235. 235 and a sign on bonus of 1.2. Do you reckon that's too much, guys? I mean, he's 82 rated. Might be able to get away with just 1 million signing on bonus. Maybe 900k, actually. 900k. He's on quite a lot of wage there. 235k. Possibly coming in and being our highest paid player here. But let's go ahead and submit that. I might be overpaying right now, but I'm asking him to take a pay cut to come in here. So, maybe that's enough signing on bonus. Let's have a see what him and his agent are going to say. Okay, it's a reasonable offer. And there we go. Luka Jovic is joining AC Milan. And here you guys can see then our new signing. Luka Jovic has joined the club and our new number nine, guys. I can't wait to get using him in the first game in today's episode. You can see there the preseason tournament. He got two appearances, averaging a 6.3 rating. So, that's not great. I'm going to be honest. But again, it's only preseason. He's got a five-star weak foot, which I'm very happy about. Three-star skill moves, right-footed, not that that matters. Six-foot as well, so with our new formation, the 4-3-3, three, three, whipping crosses in the, into the box. Might work. One thing that does put me off, though, is he has got the injury-prone trait. But a lot of you guys down below in the comments saying he doesn't get injured that much, and I'm hoping, you know, that is the case. Let's go ahead and get him on a development plan right now. I think we should get him on a complete striker. Let's just try and increase as many stats as we can. Mobile striker, actually. Yeah, I think we'll go on mobile striker just to increase them skill moves. And so after that signing then, it does leave us with 144 million in the transfer budget, guys. And still 250k in the wage. So again, we've still got a lot of money to work with. I am looking to bring in maybe two more transfers before we leave this transfer window. But let's go ahead then and get into the season objectives for this second season, guys. And now, just a heads up. Obviously, I'll ask you guys in the last episode to leave some comments. And I do appreciate everyone that did go ahead and leave a comment and help me out with these objectives. So, into the first one. New Shevchenko, which is score 30 goals in all competitions with Jovic. Then we got Mike the Cleaner, which is to get 20 clean sheets with Mike Mignon. Then we got the new PLO, which is assist 15 goals with Tenali. And then we got Young Gun, which is to get 15 goals or assist, either or, doesn't matter, with Damsgaard. And obviously, we want to go ahead and sign David Neres. Dam Damsgaard's going to be coming in off the bench, rotating. So we're going to see, even though he gets rotated, can he still get 15 gold contributions? And the next one, which is best in the country, which is do better than every Italian club in the Champions League. And then the final one, the future, which is grow Daniel Maldini by at least five overalls. Now, of course, last season, we'd pointed out at the start of today's episode, his overall didn't really increase while out on loan. So this season, we're going to try and do it ourselves and try and get him into that 70 overall bracket. And so you guys can see then how the team is shaping up now with Jovic in the side. And obviously our new formation, the 4-3-3. So again, in terms of signings, I think the defence is pretty much sourced. We've got Bolo Torre, obviously Kerr and Dalot on the bench to rotate. So again, I think the defence is pretty fine. The goalkeeper position, obviously again, Mike Mignon, 88 rated. I reckon he'll grow again this season. Um, CDM, again, no problem with that. Tenali can come on, rotate. If anything, Tenali this season might just overtake Benassa in that start 11. You just never know. And then moving on into the cam position, I think that's where we could possibly improve. So we've got Maldini, and I am wanting to grow him this season. But say ZH gets injured, Maldini is going to rotate. We'll come into the first team if ZH gets injured. And a 67 rated player, when we're in the Champions League, I don't think it's going to cut it, guys. So I think another cam into the side, move Maldini down to the reserves, and Maldini will still get game time, you know, still will get game time, and then in terms of the left wing, I think that's where we, where we need David Neres into the squad, because apart from that, I think we're pretty much sorted, guys, so I think a cam and a left winger, and I think we're good to go for the season. And so here you guys can see then some of the top deals that have happened so far now, of course, we did sell Rebic to Manchester United, we've got 62.5 million for that deal. Jovic coming in in today's episode. We've got Calvert-Lewin making a move to PSG. Wow, okay. So instead of Moise Keane, they opted for Calvert-Lewin. Hermoso going to Bayern. Dalot coming to us. Howard going to Monaco, of course. I feel like we've got a good price there for him. And Balotti going to Everton. Okay, so Everton replaced um, Calvert-Lewin with Balotti. Jamie Vardy going to Liverpool. 
Okay, so there's quite some interesting transfers here. De Catalaire going to Everton as well. And Felipe Anderson going to Inter Milan. Oxley Chamberlain making a move to Newcastle. Wow, okay, so, so quite some interesting transfers here. But let's go ahead then and get into our first game in this Serie A season, guys. We're taking on Genoa, and we are going to be away from home for this one. We are using our new away kit, which you guys have seen, but you haven't seen us play in it as of yet. So I'm excited to see how it looks um, when we actually play in it. Obviously, Jovic is going to start up front. Damsgaard on the left, Brahim on the right. New formation. Let's see how we do. Damsgaard, able to play it through. The extra touch. Oh, just couldn't get a touch there before the defender. I was hoping he would have got a touch there and gone around him. That was unfortunate not to. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the player career mode, by the way. I know some of you guys won't be interested in it. You know, not really a big fan of player career mode. But um, for you guys that are, I hope you're enjoying it. Like I said, not, I did promise you guys it would be coming out. And I'm just so glad now I've found the time to do it. But here we go, Ziyech, forward, Kese. Back to Ziyech. Go on, make the run. Okay, no one making a run here as of yet. I can see a runner. Okay, forward. Jovic. Oh, there we go. What a first goal that is from Jovic. Nine minutes in, ten minutes in. And that's his first goal for the club. And i got to admit, that pass wasn't meant for him. But he got us our first goal. So I can't complain there, guys. And there we go, Jovic, his first goal. You can see once again, Kese, I think, with the assist. And the pass, that was actually meant for... Uh, What's that there? Number four. Why is Benassa? Okay, Benassa, I wonder why he was so far at the pitch. Wasn't expecting that. It was it was him that I seen make the run. But Jovic was there in the box. Great pass from Kese. And there we go, one up already. Okay, okay, no, 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 the free ball, the slow. No, block it, that's great. Oh, Mike Mignon, there we go. Oh, I slid in, thinking he was going to shoot near post. Didn't happen, played the back pass. Samori so blocked it there, luckily. But again, still managed to get a second shot off. Mike Mignon, though, making a good save. Got themselves a corner, let's just get this one headed away. Go on, head that one away, Jovic, there we go, that's great. Okay, a little bit of danger still, still in danger. The back pass. No, Tamori's doing great so far. No, Tamori, don't let, don't let him get out of your sight. There we go, Kese. What? No, okay. There we go, Kese. There we go. We get it cleared. Oh, there we go. Ziyech, Ziyech. Just has to find the pass across. There we go, Jovic. 2-0, guys. 2-0. 21 minutes in. Jovic looking out for a debut. Two goals already. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Obviously, Ziyech could have shot there. Obviously, went for the cheap option, playing the pass across, but... He was open. Jovic making a great run. And I think, I'm sure his work rate, Jovic is medium, medium. So I was a little bit surprised to see him there, considering, considering them work rates. But again, great run from him. Great positioning. And it's now 2-0. So yeah, there we go. Damsgaard now. Damsgaard's got the pace. Do you know where it just fell apart here? Do you know where? Damsgaard. No, finish that. There we go, Jovic. There we go. 3-0 in this game. 27 minutes in, guys. I cannot believe it. What a debut. What a debut from Jovic. Damsgaard, I was a little bit worried when that pass got played, I'm not going to lie, because it sort of played it behind him, but Jovic still had the power, I'm sure his shot power is something ridiculous, like 93, I might be wrong, but I'm sure he's got high shot power, Damsgaard, the pass, not the best, but again, that's that's what you get with Jovic, the weak foot, left foot, right foot, doesn't matter, an amazing finish, and there we go, 3-0, 28 minutes in, okay, do you know what, working themselves into the area, let's not get rid of this clean sheet already, Mike Minon's already got three this season, and there we go, fail, Build up there, Ziyech, there we go. Benassa, that's a great ball forward. Jovic, Jovic, come on. Jovic to make it four, to make it four. Jovic to finish that, go on. Oh, Goldsby makes a great save. Okay, could have got maybe a little bit closer there with Jovic. You know, would have finished that game at 4-0. Ziyech whips it in. Could get ahead of here though. Could get ahead of Romagnoli, but it ends up going over. That's a great ball through. Mike Mignon, come out. What? Oh, Mike Mignon is beaten in this game, guys. I honestly thought at 3-0, this game is done and dusted, but you know we'll have other ideas, and it's now 3-1. I really want to start off this season with a win, guys. I did not want to allow you know what back into this as easy as that. As you can see here, Tamori tries to track in the run. Didn't see that runner there. And there you go, near post OP. And Mike Mignon is beaten. That's his clean sheet gone out the window. Let's just not concede another two goals. Benassa, forward. Damsgaard making a run. There we go. Why for Damsgaard? He's going to cross that one in. Ziyech. I think Ziyech is offside anyway. And if he's not offside, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm going to say offside in the end. Um, but anyway, not a, not a bad effort, I guess. Oh, do you know what? Getting themselves forward now. Okay, that's great. That's great. There we go. Let's play. Oh, man. Can't get, can't get out of our own half at the moment. Just got to be careful here of Genoa on the ball because as, as we've already seen, they've got themselves one goal already in this game. Just trying to get near this ball and wow, okay, done us. Tamori, no. Oh, Calabria saving us. Okay, no, okay, okay, this could end badly. This could end really badly here, guys. Oh, there we go, Tamori saving us in the end. No, no, struggling in the moment and it's an easy save death. Mike Mignon in the end. To be fair, we didn't take a deflection. 
I'm starting to think that might have beaten him. Here we go, Kese forward, Ziyech into space. Okay, switch wings, switch wings. There we go, Salamakas, header, Jovic. Oh, just if he could have headed that towards Jovic, that, that was easily a goal, surely. Pass inside, Ziyech, I can see Damsgaard on the run. Here we go, come on, this is going to be it. This is going to be it, Damsgaard in plenty of space. Going to take it on his own. Damsgaard, no, man. Oh, okay, I've tried... I tried, I tried, tried, I tried, guys. Oh, Jovic is free in the centre as well. What am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go, Damsgaard. I can see Jovic is free. Jovic, the touch, the pass. Oh, okay. Damsgaard, finish that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he's offside. He's offside, guys. What is it with everyone offside today? And there we go, then, guys. The full time whistle goes in this first game. Jovic with the hat trick. What an entertaining first half that was from him, guys. Like I say, a shame we can't get him another. But um, again, what a way to start your, start your career at AC Milan by getting a hat-trick in the first game. Wow, okay, then my United literally just won all of our players. United now coming with an offer of 52.9 million for Tamori. And as you can see, guys, you could actually get 92.5 million for him. Again, we're not going to sell him. Look at the number of positions he can play. Centre-back, right-back, left-back, right-wing-back if you wanted him to. So, yeah, no way. Is Tamori going? And even I'm going to go ahead and block all offers. So as you guys have seen then in that first game, not a bad start from Jovic. As you can see at the top of the top scorers at the moment, three goals in one match. You can see there Lozano and then Ronaldo behind him. But it'd be interesting to see who is actually the top of this list come at the end of the season. Obviously last season, I think, who was at the top? Latoro Martinez it was, wasn't it? At the top of the list. Now, of course, will he do the same this season or will Jovic overtake him? Because that first game does look promising. And so the scout report then has returned it for David Neres, guys. Now, I just wanted to go ahead and take a look at some of his stats. His overall, so he's 82 rated, 24 years of age, obviously left-footed. What's his weak foot? Am I able to see it here? Okay, I'm going to have to shortlist him. Let's shortlist him and take a look. So he's got a three-star weak foot. So that's one thing we would need to improve if we do go ahead and sign him. Five-star skill moves are always helpful. Medium, medium work rate, which isn't the worst. Um, sprint speed 86, 89 acceleration. What's his finishing? 73 stamina. Finishing 77, so it's not actually that bad. I was worried it might be, you know, early 70s, but he's almost 80 finishing. 88 dribbling, 85 ball control. He, he is an injury prone, which is nice to see. So, yeah, I think, guys, next episode we should go ahead and sign him. But it looks fit as well. He's in the last year of his contract, and I think he would be a massive signing to the team. Let's go ahead then and get into our final game for today's episode, guys. So take it on Sampdoria, and we are at home for this one. So I do expect us to get a win in this one. Just take a look at the team right now. We've got Damsgaard facing his former side. Just looking at the centre-backs there. Could probably rotate one of them with care. And in fact, actually, I might rotate a few more players here. Dalot, let's get him some game time as well. Tonali, he can start this game. We need to start getting these guys into some training more often. And I think that'll be enough. I was going to start Balotore, but I don't want to weaken the side too much. Because even though with this team, I do expect us to get the win. But I do expect quite a bit of a battle. But let's get into it right now. At home, let's finish off the episode with another win. Jovic has a great ball in behind for Brahim. to run on to, and he's onside. Brahim, Brahim, just keep it. The pass, Ziyech. No, where's Ziyech? Why, why are you getting so close to goalkeeping, man? I was never going to cross it in. And we played the pass, but Ziyech, unfortunately, just wasn't in the right position. Okay, how's Sam Dorian behind? No, no, no way. Oh, Mike Mignon, thank you. How some Doria just found themselves literally just pass, passing through our whole team and just look, just walking around there like like nothing. And an easy shot on goal that Mike Mignon forced to make the save early on. 18 minutes in, Sam Doria looking the much better side so far, I'm going to be honest. Dalot, Dalot, handball, no way. That's not our player, is it? Yeah, thank God. I'm going to say if we give away a penalty, worst start to a game ever. Damsgaard just allowed to run with it, okay, getting pressured. Jovic, you can see Brahim, okay, great ball down, great ball down. Brahim, no, oh, just taking off him at the last second. Was looking for another pass through the middle. Okay, stop the pass. Jovic, there we go. This has got to be 1-0. It's got to be 1-0. Oh, there you go, Ziyech. What a strike that is from him. 27 minutes in. This time, Jovic, instead of getting the goals, he's assisting in this game. And there you go. I think Jovic, guys, perfect signing. Obviously, Marlon would have been a great signing also. But Jovic, so far, he's got the finishing. He's got the passing as well. And look at that there. Ziyech, great run. It's all down to that run, to be honest. If he wasn't making a run... Jovic had to try to take the, the, the two centre-backs on his own. But there you go. Great strike as well from Ziyech. And there we go. One that up after Sampdoria looking so strong in the first 25 minutes. No, 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 no. It's a great pass for them. Care taking care out of the back. There we go. We're out. We're out. We're away. We're away right now. Let's go. Damsgaard. That's great. That's a great pass from Ziyech. There we go. Damsgaard's away. Damsgaard. Little chip into the box for Jovic. There we go. Jovic 2-0. Oh, that's a great save. 
That is a great save to deny us. Sampdoria, we just can't select the right person at the moment to deal with this. There we go, Tomori. Come on, oh, there we go. Just pass straight away to Hernandez and we're now away. Once again, come on, we deserve a 2-0 leaving this one. Come on. Come on, Jovic. Through for Ziyech. Go on, out wide, Brahim. Oh, wow, okay. He can't get any pass through whatsoever. No, 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 no. Care, let's go. Okay, okay. Just got to watch for the pass. Got to watch for this pass that he might play right now. Okay, roulette in. No, no, no. There we go, refs. Let us get away with that one. Ziyech, forward ball. Jovic, this is great. Jovic right now. Jovic, five-star weak foot. And it's a great strike, but it's also a great save as well. Tomori for Romagnoli. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think Tomori can see this one out. But it's a great strike from Jovic. But like I say, equally a great save as well. Look at that. For a save. We've got ourselves a corner now. Let's get it in towards Jovic. There we go. Ziyech, that's a great cross. Jovic. Oh, okay, headed away. Damsgaard plays it forward. Jovic, just wait for the run of Ziyech. Ziyech, here we go. Ziyech, gonna draw, drag it. There we go. Finish that, Ziyech. Oh, not so close. On his left foot. So close. Just wide did the post. Here's a look at the replay, guys. How close do you have to be to make it 2-0? Could be caught out at the back here. Could be caught out at the back. And yeah, there we go. We're able to deal with that one. But we are gonna make two changes in this game. Salamakas is gonna come on. For Abraham and also Romagnoli is going to come on for Tomori, guys. Again, I didn't think his fitness was that bad. But when I actually took a look at the menu, it was quite bad. You're, you're on the verge of going to red pretty much by the end of this game. So let's get him changed off. Let's get some fresh legs on. Well, kind of fresh. And let's just see out this win. Solomakas plays it inside. Jovic right now. Okay, I did see the run there. Hernandez. Okay, okay. Just building up slowly. Dams guard inside. Jovic turning. Jovic, that's great. Finish. Jovic. Oh, what a strike. What a strike, guys. 2-0 now. 73 minutes in. That has to be the win in this one. It has to be the win, surely. What a strike that is from him. I think he's my favourite signing. Favourite signing. Look at that. On the edge of the D. And what a strike. That five-star weak foot, guys. I think I want to start signing more players a five-star weak foot. It's a shame David Neres doesn't have it. But we can put a development plan on him. But there you go. Look at that. 2-0 now. Silver. Silver finding his way through. Trying to catch up at the back. Wow, okay. Number five, he's either right back or centre back or even maybe midfielder. I'm not too sure, but that was an awful shot from him. A great chance to get some Doria back into the game. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't a great shot. Tell you what, guys, Ziyech has really become world class. Look at this. Look at this from him. Ziyech, finish it. There you go. There you go. 3 0. Ziyech is unreal. He is unreal. What is he now? 88 rated. He's playing like he's like the best player in the game. And that's no, no joke, guys. He is unreal. Just taking teams on, taking defences on by himself. Out wide, you're thinking, no way. Is he? Oh, there you go. Works it inside. Finesse shot. Great finish. Top corner. Goalkeeper's getting nowhere near it. And that is this game done and dusted. So we have gone ahead then and jumped to the end result, guys. And as you can see, it still does end 3-0. But Ron Magnoli, though, picked up a red card. Like, what's the need for that? Picks up a yellow in the 86th minute. Then in the same minute, picks up a red card. And unless that's his second yellow. So he's so two yellows. In one minute. Wow, okay. Must have got a bit angry towards the end of the game. But there we go. 3-0. That is what we wanted. And I am hoping, then, guys, by the time the next game does come around, that these players have recovered. Because as you can see right now, a lot of them will not be seeing the next game. If it's coming up in the next two days or so. Only Calabria and Benassa, probably Mike Mignon, would feature. But there we go, then, guys. Not a bad start in this area. As you can see, six points on the table. Two games played. Two wins. A five goal difference as it stands. Napoli beating us by two goals. But that is what we wanted in today's episode. I definitely wanted to go ahead and sign Jovic. And he started off with a bang by getting a hat trick. But also starting off by getting two wins in the Serie A. So don't forget to join us then in the next episode, guys. So we are going to go ahead and try and sign David Neres. I do think next episode, guys. Go as good as Dam Guard is on that left-hand side. We need some first-team quality coming in. We've got Champions League football coming in as well. So, again, we do need quality. And I think Derek Neres will bring that quality on that left-hand side. But there we go, then, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And also, don't forget, then, guys, in the next episode, we will reveal who we've got in our Champions League group. Because, of course, last season, we finished in the top four. We also went ahead and won the Europa League. So, we're definitely in the Champions League this season. And next episode, you guys are about to find out who we've got in our group. And also the other groups as well. So again, it could be the group of death. You guys just never know. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget. Drop a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.